Hi, this is Keith Townsend from VirtualizedGeek.com with a walkthrough of Ravello's new solution in which they offer nested ESXi within Amazon and Google uh, Compute. If you remember a, a few months ago, maybe almost a year ago, I did a review of Ravello in general, which allows you to upload your VMD, VMDK files from either your lab or production network within their system. And then they offer a, another level of, a, of abstraction and run those VMs within, uh, at the time, AWS, Google Compute, <coughs> and HP's cloud. They've since dropped HP's cloud and has, and I'm assuming focused mainly on AWS and Google Compute. But they've added a new uh, wrinkle to kind of their solution, which is a really cool feature. They'll allow you to run nested ESXi now. So they're emulating AMD V and uh, Intel VT CPU extensions to allow you to run nested VMs as you would uh, in like VMware Workstation or ESXi itself. So I, I created a pretty basic lab v a vSphere 6 lab in which, in which I installed three ESXi holes uh, and a Windows vCenter. Today, they only support Windows vCenter and not the, at least for, for vSphere 6.0, uh, Windows vCenter and not the uh, vCenter appliance. And I'm looking forward to them uh, solving the technical challenges around uh, that solution. What's really cool about this is that uh, you can leverage a lot of the labs that like William Lamb has done on Virtually Ghetto and which uh, you can do, you know, vSAN and pretty much almost any lab you can do in VMware Workstation or ESXi, you can do it within Ravello. So this basic cluster that I created uh, each one of these ESXi hosts has uh, four virtual CPUs, eight gig of RAM, and 100 gig of storage. The Windows server has a uh, public IP address, uh, a total of 260 gig of storage because I'm using it for a NFS server for our, my ESXi host as well. And this whole setup costs me $1.50 an hour. It's pretty impressive. Uh, the boot time and performance is roughly acceptable. vCenter is a bit of a hog. I've found that uh, it takes about 20 minutes for all of the vCenter uh, services to start up, and I'm able to fully log into the web client. But overall, I'm very impressed, and I'm uh, seriously considering uh, using uh, this as my primary lab versus getting a new uh VMware Workstation rig. Uh, I look forward to posting future updates and uh, letting you guys know how my experiment and in, uh, in moving my lab to Ravello goes. Thanks.